Hey everybody, Reference Stardies Gaming here, back with another episode of our Crusader Kings to the Winter King mod let's play. So, um, King Arthur's getting a little bit tired of these uh, Saxons and Angles constantly raiding us, so we're going to try to do something about that today. Um, I'm not getting any audio, I don't know why that is. Um, I think, i pretty sure I perforated my eardrum, so I could just be like deaf in that ear right now, but uh, I do have my headphones on. Anywho... Um, as long as my, whoops, I'm pressing buttons now randomly. As long as my microphone's working, I guess it doesn't matter if my headphones are. Um, anyway, yeah, we are currently taking this kingdom up in, uh, almost Northumbria, I guess you could say. Well, actually, yeah, that would have been, like, southern Northumbria. Um, but as soon as that's done, we're gonna take another chunk out of one of these Saxon or, um, Eng English? That doesn't seem right, but, uh one of these Angle or Saxon uh, nations here. We just hit Sussex or South Siax, so we're probably gonna hit Eastern next. Um, we will have to let him out of prison though to do that. Or we could hit Suffolk or Norfolk. Um, I think the same issue with Norfolk applies though is we currently have their king locked up. Um, and I think we've hit these guys recently too, so we probably still have a truce up here. But I was kind of thinking, I like this big chunk right here. I wanna grab that. Um, again, this whole area I was planning to keep for myself. So, uh, Londinium, Castor Forest, Colchester, Lucan... Is that an E or a C? I, I can't tell. On my keyboard, the resolution... Or, not my keyboard, on my, on my monitor, the resolution's not high enough to tell. Luton Tune? I'm gonna assume that it's an E. Call it Luton Tune. And then, uh... Than Relsia, than Reslia. Uh, yeah, I'm planning on taking all those for myself. But uh, we will have to end this war first. So let's get the clock rolling and uh, we'll finish up this siege. This should be, let's see, we're here? Yeah. This shouldn't be too much longer in terms of this war. Um, actually, it, it might be. We don't have a whole lot of war score and we've already crushed their army, so. I don't know what else we need to do. I, I think I'll send our army back here and we'll take the rest of the stuff within this province because this is their capital. So once we have it completely conquered, maybe that'll be enough. I don't know for sure though. Um, there's another... Okay, we've got that whole province. Let's move back here. We'll take the city and the church and I'm hoping that is enough. We're being raided as has become customary um, but you guys have suggested that if they don't have more men than the defenders they can't burn the settlement or raise it or anything like that so it might be worth just letting them take their little bit of plunder and be on their way um, in both of these cases they don't have enough men to do that so I'm just gonna leave them be uh, well I can, I should have enough men around here to marshal an army, so in this case I will deal with them, but um, if it becomes inconvenient and I just don't have the men to do it, I'm going to let it go. Assuming, of course, that they can't destroy the settlement, because if they do that, that'll lead to trouble, and we don't want that. And these guys actually, God, more raiders. It's just, it's never going to end. These guys turned into an army of or went from an army of 150 to 700, so that is a problem now, because they can take that settlement. Or not take it, but they can raise it. Uh, we took him prisoner. You're going to be... Do you have a title? Nope. All right, executed. See ya. Again, I'm hoping that just by killing them all off that eventually they're gonna run out of men to lead these armies. To the point where uh, they just won't be able to raid us anymore. Um, oh good, our siege is done. Let's see. With the defenses broken and the city occupied, the town and its people are at the mercy of our forces. It's time for us to decide whether to sack, pillage, and burn, or whether to preserve the land and be merciful towards the current Cumbric uh, holders. Of course we're going to be merciful. They are going to be part of our Part of our kingdom, after all. So that gives me prestige and piety. 
and we might become temperate. Uh, I don't really care to loot it. Chances are we're not going to get a significant amount of gold anyways. So, yeah. Pause there, and why don't you go deal with that army since you're already up. And we're at 87 war scores, so I'm hoping that taking this church will be enough. Unless they're surrendering right now, which in this case it won't matter. Yeah, he's surrendering at 87. So, of course, we will accept. There's no reason to continue that further. And that means I can disband my army. And they are now part of our kingdom. Fantastic. And what do you think of me right now? Pretty high opinion, all things considered. Uh, given that we just vassalized him and declared war on him, he likes us quite a bit. Um, hopefully that goes away soon. But that gave us a pretty significant chunk of land, and that got us almost all the way up to Scotland here. Uh, we have one more kingdom to go. And they are fairly weak, so we could definitely take them today. Um, again, I want to get in a declaration over here first. Because these are going to take significantly longer. We have to do them province by province. So every opportunity I get, I want to take a, a, pro, a province from these guys. Okay, and there's another victory. Let's disband our army. And then I... I wish we could ransom him. He just can't afford it. But I wish we could get some money out of this. I could kill him. Who are, Who's your heir? It's your brother? Ooh, that would be bad for me, though. His brother is apparently the king of Suffolk. So if I killed him in prison, this king would inherit this, and it would become one big blob, and that would slow down my ability to conquer it, because then I would have uh, a truce with them, or him, after I took a province, and I'd have to wait for that truce to run out, whereas... Here I can, you know, take this, wait for the truce, and while I'm waiting for the truce, I can take something from here, and then while I'm waiting for this truce, I can take something from here. So yeah, we want these guys divided as much as possible. And so to that end, I'm going to have to release him as much as it kills me to do it. And there you go. Immediately I'm going to declare war on you. Uh, yeah, I want the big one. We're going to split them in half. Well, not in half. I mean, I guess. I, I, I'm referring to, like, the, the Anglo-Saxons in general, not, like, this kingdom specifically. But, yeah, we're basically going to, like, draw a line through them to the coast. And uh, we'll call in our allies so that we don't have to do too much work here. We're going to let them do a lot of the legwork for us. I'm only going to call up my forces because I don't think they're going to be able to muster a whole lot to throw at us. And let's get you away from the border there. And what's happening? Oh good, you got some money. Oh my god, almost a hundred gold. Look at you go. That reminds me though, I should spend some of that. What is being upgraded here? So we're working on a granary. Um, we're also building a castle holding as well. Up here, what are we currently doing? We're building a hill fort. So the question becomes, what would I want to build down here? It's tempting to do a city and a castle because those are going to give me the most tangible benefits. It'll give me, the city will give me money, castle will give me troops, but I do need to keep in mind that most of this, this particular province and all the surrounding provinces are going to be um, Saxon in culture or Angle in culture and they are going to be Germanic pagans so we need to convert the populace and to that end it would probably be better if I built a church hmm but it doesn't necessarily have to be here I don't think I'm, I'm pretty sure as long as we have churches throughout this area will be okay and Londinium does have a church so if we had one say here and one I don't know about here for for a province that large it's surprisingly got surprisingly few holdings that I can uh, grab there anywho you know what Lancelot can I borrow some of your men there's an extra 300 let's send you 
You know what? Everybody meet up here. Because we're going to deal with that little army right there before we head uh, east. But I should spend that money on something. Should be upgrading whenever I can. And uh, I guess I could build something here. Um, earth and ramparts. No. Anything that's going to give me income. None of those will, so I don't think I'll bother. How are we on technology? I haven't looked at this in a while. I always forget. Um, cavalry, maybe? Cavalry or siege tactics? Yeah, I think I want siege tactics. That's going to speed things along for us quite a bit. And then in the middle here... Trade practice is not going to benefit us all that much, I don't think. Maybe construction. Construction would be good. Infrastructure, we've already leveled up. Um, I don't know. I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to take construction. That seems like a broad enough bonus. And then here it gets interesting, because legalism is really my main focus on this one. Um, I could just keep saving up and then hit this to level 3, but I, I want legalism for crown authority, and the rest of these don't matter nearly as much to me, although majesty, oh, that's just prestige, hmm, yeah, I think I'm going to save this one up and try to rush legalism if I can, alright, let's get our troops moving. And they're going to honor their obligations. They always do, and that's nice of them. The only reason I haven't conquered them yet, because they are pretty good at fulfilling their duties. Um, okay, yeah, stuff we already knew about. They are attacking me, so we need to be a bit quicker about this. There we go. Uh, that may not be enough troops, actually, because they have nearly the same number over there. Although my allies might beat me to them. And they have plenty of troops. Man, they took that place quick. Okay, there's victory... of Vectis. I don't recall where that is, but I guess that's good. There's another victory. He's calling him back up. That's fine. Um, let's see what I will do is I'm going to call up your troops and that will be enough I imagine uh, let's not attack them across the river that's a recipe for disaster we'll go to Latimer and then to Londinium okay so that gives us 2200 we're going to cross the river and then hit them there we go and we were victorious where not here. Now we're victorious. Okay. And we took the other king prisoner. That's funny. Uh, you're just a nobody. Okay. You are getting executed. Who are you? Another nobody? Well, you're gone as well. Man, they've got a lot of just like random people floating around. Okay, so we'll get rid of all of these notifications. And now I need to crush all these smaller armies. So let's get this one first and then we'll hit this one. We'll need to take back our forest there as well. Oh, good job. Another, another nameless, well not nameless, but another random lord to you know potentially throw land at later. Uh, maybe I'll just assault this one. Yeah, only two people there. Um, I'll let you guys handle that for now. I'm going to try to chase these guys down first. We're being raided, of course. Uh, where are they? Where are you guys from? Danes. The damn Danes. Alright, well. Uh, you know what, Ellen? I'd prefer that you didn't do that. I don't know who Chief Murik is, but anytime uh, a person holding land gets killed and somebody has to inherit land, things can get messy. 
So I'd rather that just not happen because I never know if it's going to be inherited into my kingdom or outside of it or anything like that. So I just prefer that that not happen. So this guy has a title. Can you pay your own ransom? You can. That's good. Uh, I'll have to keep that in mind. Another noble distinguishes himself again with the, the Fu Manchu thing going on. Seems to be a lot of that going around. Let's go smash their army since they're trying to get to London here. And we caught them. Let's continue to pursue them. And once we destroy that army... Oh, we've already won this war. Yeah, go ahead and enforce that. Good, good, good. And who are you? Nobody. Okay, then you are executed. I like how the justification wasn't that he was an enemy. It was that he was so insignificant. Like, that's, that's kind of sad, actually. I feel bad for him now. Um... Oh no, we should have ransomed him before we made peace. Yeah, that was bad on my part. We have a lot of gold though. It probably won't matter much in the long run. Okay. So, this should be mine. There we go. I don't know why. It seems to be exclusive to this mod, but for whatever reason, the, the conquest never seems to update immediately. Like... You know, we took this, and uh, for whatever reason, like, it's still within their border, and it was still their color just a second ago. But anyways, it's mine now, and it will probably remain mine, so I'm going to start working on that hill fort, because we want to get it up to a castle, a proper proper holding and not a, uh, a village for tribes. Um, we're working on the same here, obviously, and then... Hmm. I'm wondering if I should start building something here. I'll probably start with a city. Or a, a town, excuse me. That's the most expensive one, but it's still not all that much. 132 is not bad. And with that, let's head back up north and we'll look at declaring war on these guys. I will offer vassalization and he will refuse. So we'll do this the hard way. We'll call in our allies, and I'm willing to bet that they are probably more than strong enough to handle this, but I will call up some of my own troops just so I don't have to rely entirely on them. Well, not my own troops, my, my vassal levies. But yeah, we will raise a small army of our own just because uh, we are a little bit more efficient than our, our allies are. Although they are pretty helpful. I can't deny that. Anybody over here still have men? No, you hold like that whole eastern chunk. Alright, let's head to here. No, let's not meet there. Let's meet away from that big army that might destroy all of our forces before they get together. But yeah, they, they mustered more than I thought they would. It said he only had about 400 men at his disposal, and they've raised about three to four times that. And they're going to honor their obligations. I love it when they do that. Mankind is unlovable. We're no longer charitable. Okay. That's, that's an interesting declaration to make. Um, you're trying to fabricate a claim on the High Lordship of Glastoning. Um, how about you don't do that? I'm not going to let you mess with Merlin. Okay. We're almost gathered. What is this? Oh, we're being raided again. Uh, okay, let's deal with it. I'm just going to hit him from like every side all at once and back to our war that should be no actually that's not enough troops victory okay good oh we're being raided again come on was it from here where are you from ah okay Norfolk 
we haven't touched them yet. We're going to beat them up pretty soon, but right now I might just have to let that go. Oh, I can't though. They can definitely raise raise that settlement to the ground. Uh, please don't do whatever you're doing. Okay, well, you're headed north. Um, where are you headed to? You're headed here, so let's meet you there. And between the two of our forces, we should have enough to defeat those guys. Did they go with me? I sure hope that they did. Oh, they didn't. They're late. But we won anyways. We got the king. That will end the war. That was really quick. And another noble distinguished himself with another mustache. Okay. So you guys are going to go handle this now. Before we disband you. And, uh... Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. So you are now my vassal, and you seem to like me at least enough. Uh, he doesn't like that we usurped his title. And he doesn't like that we declared war on him. Um, but yeah. So, basically all of Northumbria is now ours. Um, we probably want to subjugate King Gawain at some point. Um, maybe next? We obviously have to wait until we've um, disbanded our armies. But yeah, I wouldn't mind bringing him into the fold. Is he any good as a character? Uh, he's all... Yeah, he's good. It's just not as good as like Arthur. Or Lancelot. Or Merlin. Did you guys not leave? Or is this a new army? Well, we'll do the same thing again. I don't know why they're so intent on raiding the capital. But that's the one place where I have plenty of troops to raise. All right, so let's go deal with these guys. I might just have to conquer the whole map so that nobody can raid me. There's one victory, and there's the second. We captured somebody. Oh, we got their king. The king of Norfolk. Um, can you pay a ransom? No? Well, then you're just going to rot. And another noble distinguished himself in the process. Okay. Let's disband that. Um, there's a couple of high lordship titles that we could create. I don't think I want to do that yet, though. We'll do that when we have more of these areas and we want to start organizing them better. But for now, I don't think that's really important. Um, okay, so... What we probably want to do next is take another chunk out of one of these kingdoms. Probably these guys. Uh, actually, I have all of their kings locked up. Oh, wait, no, I don't have him. Okay. Then we'll probably do these guys. Uh, I might have a truce with you. I don't remember. Let's take a look at that. So, there's just so many. I think that's them. Maybe, maybe not. Obviously, we have a... Well, actually, these are truces. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's them right there. So we can't declare war on them yet. But we can declare war on these guys. So do we take this province? Do we take this province? Uh, or this one? I can, de I can declare war for any of these three, but we don't have a border with this one, so we can't take their capital. Huh. I don't know. That makes it tricky. I wish these guys were more open to vassalization. Obviously the religion thing is getting in the way and then the culture as well. And just their base reluctance of it. Um, and the fact that they hate me. But you would think, you know, the impending conquering of his kingdom, he might decide that being a king under a high king is better than being a dead king. But no, no, they are pretty stubborn. So let's see here. If I declare war, I can take the big province. I can take, you know what? Here's a better idea. Let's look at what's already there. This has a temple built, so we could turn that into a church. This has nothing, and this has a temple built. Uh, in terms of troops, this one's going to provide them with the most levies. So I think this one makes the most sense between the three this one is the least valuable right now. 
Although it is providing them with the biggest levy, so maybe not. But at the same time, grabbing one of these, getting a church built here early, and I think they might auto-convert. I'm not sure on that, but um, either one of these would give us a church in Suffolk right out of the gate, and uh, this one would deal a bigger uh, blow to their army strength. So I think the fact that there's a church here outweighs the fact that there's a little bit more troops here. So let's go ahead and declare war for that province. And we'll see. Hopefully they don't get kind of upset with me for uh, calling them into so many wars so quickly. We are out of time, though, I think, actually. That flew by. Um, we're going to continue doing what we're doing, though. Obviously, we need to take these guys apart piece by piece. Um, and we're getting pretty close to there. And then we'll continue working our way north as well. I want to bring uh, Gwen into the kingdom as soon as I can. And then we'll probably focus on this kingdom here. I believe we have de jure claims on both of those. We do. So once we get past that, that's pretty much the end of our de jure claims. And then uh, we'll have to figure out how we're going to deal with Alba or uh, Scotland or Pictland or whatever you prefer to call it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the end of our free subjugation ride. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Crusader Kings 2 with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.